What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back at y'all again with another art tutorial, man. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Make sure you click post notifications so you will be notified every time you boy drop some heat. In today's video, like always, I will be teaching you guys how to cartoon yourself. So without further ado, let's jump right into this video. Okay, first thing you want to do, you want to drag and drop the picture you want to use. Right after you do that, you want to drop the opacity down on the picture. Lock that layer, create a new layer, and you want to come, set your brush pressure. And you can only get this option if you got a digital tablet. What I'm drawing on is called a UG tablet, 21 inch, while I draw right onto the screen. That's the only way you can get the pressure option if you're using a tablet so after you set your pressure you will wind up with the lines you see me using in every video the first thing you want to focus on is the line work so what i like to do i like to zoom in close enough where i can make some nice smooth lines Make sure you're zooming in real close so to make it a lot easier for you. Just make some clean lines. progress the more you do it the better you'll get at it so take your time until you perfect it make sure you're closing off your lungs and leaving no opening
got a line a little bigger. Now we finna do the shape of his face.
Okay, now that we finished with the line work, what we gonna do is we gonna highlight everything from the object, expand appearance, click merge on our pathfinder to make all our lines one. Okay, what we gonna do, we gonna make a copy of the line work, lock the top layer, grab a base color to start out with for the skin tone. You gotta make sure your lines closed off. Select that and select multiple things at once by holding shift. everything you want to come to edit edit color let's go to adjust color balance Shadows. 
I like to go dark to my lights. Darker shadows to the lighter shadows. So let's find a nice dark shadow. And put them on separate layers just in case you gotta go through and tweak the colors. So put your dark shadows on one layer and put your lights on different ones. my pencil tool make sure my color is at the top and the bottom on this lock right here and now we finna just look at the picture copy the shadows Mm-hmm. 